Yeshua, be of good cheer, thy sins are forgiven. We can say the same thing. Be of good cheer, your sins are forgiven. Not because we are such a, a, a great and mighty one. That it is our blood which has been shed for the remission of anyone's sins. But that work has already been done. That work has already been done. And Messiah Yeshua said, I have the ability to forgive sins on the earth. And you, me, are his representative on the earth. We are bone of his bone. We are flesh of his flesh. We are his bride. He has ascended the earth, but he has left us who are a part of him. Which is why, if we consider for a moment, when Paul was persecuting the church, he said to Paul, why are you persecuting me? We are a part of him. He is a part of us. He is in us and we are in him. So when he's declaring he has the ability to forgive sins in the earth and yet he is ascended, there is him who is in us who is down here. Now the key is, why do people need to know that their sins are forgiven? If people retain their sin and don't recognize there is forgiveness of sin, there is remission of sin, and they remain retain that sin, then that paralysis of the man on the bed would still be upon him. The, the infirmity, the disease, the sickness that was upon him would still be there. And it's much the same with people today. If they don't recognize that there is remission of sins and you do not declare remission of sin and you do not speak the word of the Most High that their sins are forgiven by direct revelation. Because remember, he perceived the fig that, that the man needed, had a sin issue. He perceived that. He perceived what was in the hearts of certain of the scribes. And you can perceive. You can perceive this person is a dog. This person is a swine. This person is a son. They, don't, they may just not know it, but you can perceive. Why? Because the spirit of the living God knows the end from the beginning. You can perceive because the testimony of Yeshua is the spirit of prophecy. If this person, therefore, is going to be a child of the living God, how can they be a child of Satan and move into the, be a child of God except there be forgiveness of sin? And therefore, your sins are forgiven you because the one who came to remit the sins of the world has finished that work. And we as people need to declare that work has been done.